The story of the ghost of the Bloody Tower revolves around one of the most infamous episodes in English history, the disappearance and likely murder of two young prince, Edward V and Richard of Shrewsbury, in the 15th century. The Bloody Tower, part of the Tower of London, is at the heart of this chilling tale. In 1483, after the death of their father, King Edward the IV, the young Edward V was set to be crowned king. However, their uncle, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, seized power and declared the boys illegitimate, claiming they were the products of an invalid marriage. This allowed him to take the throne as Richard III, shortly after their arrival at the Tower of London, where they were meant to stay before the coronation, the young prince were never seen again. Their fate remains a mystery to this day, though it's widely believed they were murdered on Richard's orders to secure his claim to the throne. The legend of the ghost of the Bloody Tower centers on the belief that the spirits of the two prince haunt the tower where they spent their last days. Numerous sightings and eerie occurrences have been reported over the centuries, adding to the tower's reputation as one of the most haunted places in England. Visitors and guards alike have claimed to see the ghostly figures of two young boys dressed in white nightshirts, holding hands and wandering the corridors of the Bloody Tower. Their presence is often accompanied by a feeling of sadness or unease, as if they are searching for something or someone. One particularly famous account dates back to the 17th century, when workmen renovating the tower allegedly discovered a wooden box containing the skeletons of two small children buried beneath a staircase. This grim find fueled speculation that the bones belonged to the missing prince and added weight to the belief in their haunting spirits. In addition to the apparitions of the two prince, other ghostly phenomena have been reported within the bloody tower. Strange noises, such as disembodied cries and whispers, footsteps echoing in empty corridors, and the rattling of chains have all been attributed to supernatural activity. One of the more unsettling aspects of the haunting is the occasional appearance of a shadowy figure believed to be Richard III himself. Described as a tall, dark figure wearing armor, his ghost is said to roam the tower, perhaps tormented by guilt over the fate of his nephews. The legend of the ghost of the Bloody Tower continues to capture the imagination of visitors to the Tower of London. Whether these sightings are the result of overactive imaginations, historical trauma, or genuine encounters with the supernatural, the story of the two prints and their tragic fate remains one of the most enduring mysteries and ghost stories in English history.